It's Friday, everybody. So today I want to talk about Our Lady, Mary, the Mother of God, and Our Mother. So let me tell you what I want to talk about. On this date in 1917, Mary appeared to three children in Portugal, in Fatima. And Mary's message, as it always seems to be throughout the ages, is to pray the rosary. Notice my rosary. I've got it in hand. To fast. And when we fast, what, what do we do? We're not, I think, as Americans, very good at fasting. So I, I'll personalize it. I'm not very good at fasting. Let me remind us what that is. That means giving something up. And when we give something up, it's always for something or somebody. And so Mary reminds us that when we fast, that we offer it for the salvation of souls. Again, at the end of our life, we want to continue to pray for others so that someday somebody will pray for us. Think about the Fatima prayer, okay? So I'm going to remind us what that is. If you don't know it, you can Google it and because it's pretty easy to find. But at the end of every decade of the Rosary, we pray as soon as we finish all of those prayers, so the Our Father, the Ten Hail Marys, and the Glory Be, then we say this. O oh my Jesus, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of your mercy. That is the primary message of Fatima. To pray Pray for our world, pray for our brothers and sisters. And today, our bishops have asked you and I to fast and to pray the rosary for all of the division in our country right now over the Roe v. Wade leak and everything that is kind of connected with that, the violence, the protesting, the rioting, all of that. There's been some serious violence um, perpetrated against uh, pro-life organizations. And I know that there has been some sacrilege where the Eucharist has been stolen from at least one church. May we be Catholic today. May we pray the rosary today. May we join with our fellow Catholic brothers and sisters for the salvation of our country and for the salvation of the world. Would that we were better at this? Because I imagine that it we, if we had listened more readily to Mary in 1917, things in our world might be different today in 2022. So, Holy Mary, you see her over my right shoulder. Pray for us. You see the Holy Family over my right shoulder. Pray for us. And may Almighty God bless all of us in a world that sorely needs His blessing and His protection. See you at Mass this weekend, and thanks be to God for Holy Mary, Mother of God, your Mother and ours, who always comes to us when we're in trouble. Have a good weekend. See you at Mass. Oh, okay. so